Hey everyone, this is a tutorial video for how to build the compound of five octahedra. The first thing you're going to need are 12 of these pieces. And the way that you make those is you start off with 10 stacked rings of 16 magnets per ring. And you cut those up into five long straight pieces. Each is made up of two rings. And then you attach them on the corners just like that and you go around until you have five of them. Then you also need two pentagons and this is a little bit different from the way I normally make these because they're slightly more reinforced you see. Because um, nor you just add one pentagon on top there like I always do. But then you also want to add one pentagon on the bottom there and that will help reinforce it a little bit further otherwise they have an annoying tendency to collapse for this shape. Um, and I said 12 of these. The rest of them I have here off screen because they just take up too much space. Then you also need 30 of these pieces. And again, I only have 20 of them here. Um, there is more off screen because again, they take up too much space. But the way that you make those is by starting off with three long straight pieces Two of them are shorter, and they're made out of stacked rings of 14. And like I said, you need two of those. And then one of them is longer, and it's made out of stacked rings of 24. And so what you do is, for the long one, on the side that ends in points, you want to remove the two middle magnets. It's easiest to do this with a chain. Just like that. And then for these, you want to remove this one magnet off one of the ends, just like that. And you want to do that for both of them. And then you can take this long one and let it just sit like that and attach this square part here to these two magnets, just like that. You can do the same thing on the other side. And then you can take this chain and add single magnets here in the corners. Just like that one is sitting there. You can do that to all four corners. And then you get a small little square, just like that, and you add it down on top. And this is the same method that I've used for a lot of things. Now this one's a little bit different though. Because now what you want to do is, you see how there's two long legs and two short legs. And for the two short legs, you want to bend them down. And as you do, this square here will kind of sink. And you want to pull them down until it kind of clicks like that. And that will adjust it a little bit to where these are coming down at a steeper angle. And these are coming at a little bit of a shallower angle. And that's how you want those. And again, you need 30 of these. So, now to start building it, what you do is you take these pieces here and you just kind of attach them together on the edges like this and just like so. And you're making kind of a rhombic triacontahedron when you're doing this. And you want to go around with the first six of them until you've built up half of it. Okay, so that's half of one. And now what you want to do is you want to start attaching these to it. And one of these goes into each of these rhombic um, kind of open faces here. And the way they attach is that the long ends just kind of snap in like that. And the short ends, um, you want to just kind of have them rest just like that. So you attach them in, just like so, and you want to do that to all five faces around one corner. And it is kind of fragile, so be careful. Okay, and now that this first part is complete around this corner, you can kind of carefully turn it around and set it 
down on that. And it's a lot stronger when it's sitting on those um, pyramids that you add on. So if there's any damage, you might want to repair it. And then you want to take the other six of these and finish off the rhombic triacontahedron. Okay, and now you have a finished rhombic triacontahedron with at least the bottom five of these added on. And you want to go ahead and add the other 25 on. And I find it's easiest to start from the bottom and work up. So go ahead and add them all on. And that's it. That is the compound of five octahedra, or I guess alternatively a stellated rhombic triacontahedron. Um, and that's all there is to it. And the rhombic triacontahedron by itself is really unstable, but once you get all these extra stellations on, it's surprisingly sturdy. Um, and so I guess I will smash it now.